right, here we are, AMS2. Excuse all the noise in the background. My neighbours have decided they're going to rebuild the uh, Great Wall of China. Um, <laughs> why not? It's the weekend. Hey, welcome to Wigan. Okay, so, update. There's an update. The update has come out. Okay, this is the pre-big update. So, this is what they describe as a small update. So, as usual, it's bloody huge. It's huge, mate. It's huge. First up, just a funny one. Uh, tire selections. Somebody forgot to put the text in. That's it. They're getting the pies next Friday when that one say, comes to light. So that aside, that's the only bad thing I've found so far. So we're at uh, Watkins Glen. And we are with the new cars. The um, Brazilian stock cars 2024. Which are a bit heavier. The push to pass is uh, updated. So you can use multiple shots of electricery throughout the lap. Cars are a bit heavier, but more importantly, this has got the new tyre model on it. Which gives you a better initial grip. But also gives you greater feel in the old force feedbacks. So you can feel where the edge of that grip is on the front end when you're doing this. And even more importantly, you can feel where the grip is on braking. They're initially, they've got a... They've got a, a, a greater initial grip, i.e. when you first turn in or when you first hit the brakes, you know about it. Just use the old trail. We'll do a bit of the same here, just keep a tight line, get round him. Back end steps out slightly at the end of the bend. P2P is not in enabled until the end of the first lap. So we haven't got that to uh, play with. Although I've found the, uh, the actual gain you get from it is very minimal. Whoa! Okay, I have also not got Creed Chief on. So when I squeeze the car against the wall that I don't know is there, that happens and I get uh, shunted off. No harm, no foul, we're still in, no damage, I think. No damage, no. I've got my menu on because I'm looking at the tyres. Initially we're uh, 70 degrees on the tyres because they've, in, they've employed the new thermal dynamics on the tyres but not to the full degree so I'm just keeping an eye on that. So this initial bite, as you can see, it's there, but that additional feedback you're getting means that you're not gold. means that you're not oversteering because you can't quite feel where the edge of the uh, grip is initially. You can feel it now, even on a lowly G29. Let me move down a bit so you can see under that box. So instead of doing that, and not knowing you're doing that, you definitely do. You can feel the edge there without having to do any shenanigans. Yeah, if you watch me wheel, if I do that, I won't be doing that in the race. But that would have been the case previous. If in the heat of the moment you don't feel where the edge of the grip is, you end up oversteering and just chewing your tyres up. I set to 100 and medium. Oh. You can also feel that uh, when you lock the wheels up as well, a lot easier. Which 
is happening over kind of some of these bumps and camber changes. There is a huge list of updates, features, but I'm not going to get into it because you can all read. And I really don't think I need to sit here and just read it out like a script. What everybody can do themselves, you'll find it on Steam. rather just get in there and uh, have a look and have a feel at what's going on. And give you my humble opinion of what I feel is coming back at me through my rig. Which may be different to you, but I'm certainly feeling a lot more in the steering. It's just just weight changes and there's all sorts going on here it's, it's quite it's quite marvelously wonderful i don't really want to wax lyrically on about it whoa ho, ho. one thing i have noticed that you won't notice is the uh, when the cars get off track they do kick up a bit of dust on the dirty bits of the track we may see that in a bit but you're looking at a, a low res version of what I'm looking at through one of my eyes. Well, not through one of my eyes, but through one of the screens that's stuck to the front of my eye. I'm enjoying these new cars. They've uh, smartened them up a little bit. These used to be a sea of carbon fibre in front of you, but out there. Now it's got all the uh, sponsors logos and some buttons and a bit stuck to it. It's a little bit more homely. Get away blue car. Not my problem is I'm forgetting to use the uh, P2P button. I'm saying P2P because push, push too fast while racing is a bit of a mouthful for me. Extra speed needed scrubbing off, which great a bit earlier. And I'm back in the same position, car either side of me. Back up the hill. Still on my left. Here we go again. Can use this multiple times and I'm using it again. Just a short period after I've used it on my own start finish straight. Yeah, there's a little there's some little bumps and kinks I can feel for the force feedback on the track surface as you come into the braking zone. And it's just making the wheels lock. But I can just release a little bit of pressure and uh, get rid of the squeaky sound and the smoke. Big dive up here. Use all the trap, there's a little cut out at the end there. Another big late break. I used to always go wide on that corner. I've not gone wide once with these. It's getting so much coming back. I, from, from the brakes, and I can put it down to is this new tyre model and, and the initial grip. So just give me that finite better control at the beginning where you need it. I in slowing fast out. You tend not to notice the game's weak points until they improve them. Not that it was a bad game or there was something wrong, it's just, it's better now. Coming in, no, not coming down, shutting the door on you. Go deep here. Yeah, you can just put the car where you want it now. Let's get behind here, use this push a two pass button, sixed not doing much in case he's doing it himself he's doing a little bit late break 
just trying to get over those bumps a little bit fourth run it out wide onto the rumble strip come back in slowly reeling them in at the front and keeping these guys off me at the back but yeah it is much more detailed feel coming back from these tyres that I can physically it gives me more control especially in VR says losing the back end coming up the uh, up the hill out of the tight herping again here just just place the tire on the rumble strip it's, uh, it, it, it is making a big difference <coughs> I missed it there <clears throat> So I want to have a look, starting to get a bit of understanding, when I look at what these tyre temperatures are, I have got the menu uh, open, lots of the front right coming through there then. Okay, tyre temperatures, yeah, 94, 91 on the left, high 80s on the right, so things are getting a bit hot. Ooh, bit the, bit the uh, square sausage there, it's a bit of a... The Scottish Scottish sausage curb joke there. But it was, it was flat on top. <coughs> <coughs> oh gosh. Yeah, front right, it's got a little bit more wear than front left. Size are wearing down a little bit more as well. That and it's that little bump there, you just saw my wheel switch as it went over. And it instantly locked me front right. Yeah. Let's have a look at tyre temperatures. Yeah, 92, 94, 93. Yep, it just let go. Tyres are just... Uh, taking quite a bit of wear now and now I've got uh, vehicle damage so I'm going to leave it there so pirouette off with no rear spider on um, yeah what more can I say there's a lot of improvements and the tyre model is a big one Although they make it out to be a small one, that initial grip is affecting your braking, your turn in, and the force feedback. So, thanks for watching. I'll go and have a look at some other things that are on this update, especially this new track um, at um, Spa. Adios.